Study, reflect, and listen to the Lord. Let Him direct your steps. That's how you treasure each day. Hello and welcome to Nation Station. My name is Kimber Nation and for February we'd like to talk to you about a special word. It is a four-letter word, be warned. It is the most abused and misused word in the English language. What is it? Love. L-O-V-E, love. There are really four different kinds of love according to the Greek. Storge, the first one, which is a deep, caring bond that develops naturally between family members, cherishing one's kindred, the mutual love between a parent and a child, for example. Then there is filial love, which is brotherly love, close friendships, generous and affectionate. Eros is physical, sensual intimacy between a husband and a wife that expresses romantic attraction. And then we have the highest form of love, agape. It is selfless, sacrificial, unconditional love that comes from God. And he know, we need to strive to be more like that. Many times we take the word love for granted. Like, I love ice cream. Go Chiefs. We love the Chiefs. When we more accurately mean that we like them and such. There are perversions too. When people say they love you, but they verbally or physically assault you. Rape and incest are pure acts of evil. And then the movies, they're full of passion and lust, selfish action by strong and powerful quote-unquote leaders, compromising values and morals just to get ahead in this world. Well, no wonder Jesus says in Romans 12 too, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Jesus came to teach us how to live now and for all eternity. Did you know that what you're doing today is also preparation for our eternal life in heaven? John 3.16 teaches us the gospel. We need to pray for our enemies. Many counselors and self-help books tell people to look within themselves for answers. Ha! What nonsense! Only the Creator knows how to help His creation. When there's a problem with a building code or, you know, design, you don't go to the plumber. You go back to the architect, to the designer, because he or she is the expert, the one that put that building together. I, we can't forget to celebrate. We know that we are people with flaws. We're going to fall short of the glory of God on this life, on this side of heaven, but we can embrace some attitudes of paying it forward to others and trying to treat them as we would like to be treated, like the golden rule says. And also, I want to take time with Lewis um, to celebrate the first anniversary of Nation Station. And we could not do that without you, the viewers. And thank you for, for your comments. Thank you for taking time to share this with others. God bless you and treasure each day. From Nation Station, we want to wish you a happy Valentine's. You don't have to have chocolate, but if you do, that's all the sweeter. 